From Hollywood, the entertainment capital of the world, it's right now with Jimmy Pardo. Now here's your host, Jimmy Pardo. Hey, there it is. Um, that was my Arsenio uh, move right there. I'm bringing it back before he does. That's my goal, right? He's a good guy. Got no problem with Arsenio and his weird long hands. Um, <laughs> you ever see Arsenio Hall's hands? They're long and weird and creepy, right? E.T. Like, e. fingers. What? E.T. E. fingers. E.T. fingers. That's exactly how they describe him. <laughs> creepy hands, Arsenio Hall. Funny. Nice kid. Anyhow, welcome to the show. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, this is right now. I'm Jimmy. I may have just taken a nap right in the middle of my own sentence. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what just happened there, Ed. What happened? Did you see me kind of pass out halfway through that? A little bit. Yeah, Listen, well. it's a long day. We're all having a tough time. The economy's down, right? You got yourself a new time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh stop. Oh, it hurts. I like, I like that I found the one guy tinier than I am, and I come at you. Look at how form-fitting this sweater is. Very attractive. That shirt looks dynamite. We're a couple of good-looking men. Ed, you, you, We'll be swimming in pussy after this. <laughs> That's Ed Lee, everybody! <laughs> Speaking of swimmers, Laura House, everybody! Right in the pussy. Had to go two way. I could have said, speaking of pussy, didn't go that route. No. <laughs> Went, speaking of swimming, clean it up. Thanks for being respectful. My pleasure. <laughs> nice to see you. Who am I keeping You're this You're welcome. From? <laughs> <laughs> Keep this on the DL. Disabled list. Um, <laughs> Right? 15 day. We don't know when that guy's coming back. He might not be healthy enough. Baseball term, Jarrett. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Jarrett Grody, everybody. Uh, Jarrett, refresh my memory. What's the name of the novel you wrote? Susan Chang's blog. Susan Chang's blog. Yes. I read it, loved it. My wife and I both read it. It's a true story. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah, for real. We read it. Okay. Why would I lie? I just assumed that you were saying that to either flatter me or fill time. No. No, if I want to fill time, I'll give this cocksucker a couple more me. Ah, look at the pussy lining up. Um, here's what's going to happen. I write, hey, I became Chuck Barris there. Did you see that? Ah, J.P. Morgan. Nine people over 50. Get that reference. Gee, here comes Gene Gene, the dancing machine. Listen, I'm an old man. Uh, here's how it's going to work on right? this program. If you've never joined us before, let me walk you through it. Let me hit a couple of beats for you. Uh, I'm about to bring out what I call a stand-up comic. And he's going to come out here and do standing-up comedy for you. And while he's doing that, and hopefully pronouncing his words correctly, these three very talented individuals are going to be writing jokes on what I call index cards. I will then take those index cards and read them unedited, unrehearsed. Um, I mean, I, really, I don't know why I became Kirk Douglas there at the end. More Frank Gorshin doing Kirk Douglas. But I'm really gauging this show to be at 63-year-olds. <laughs> really, Frank Gorshin doing Kirk Douglas was the reference I just chose. And what was the one I just did? What was the other old man reference I just made? We've all forgotten. What was it? Chuck Barris. Chuck Barris, yeah. I really need to buy a calendar. <laughs> Probably gonna get one with Justin Bieber. That kid's cute, right? Can't imagine what he's doing for August. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna read these jokes, whichever one that I deem the joke of the night. Uh, the, whoever wrote it is gonna get 50 bucks, 50 smackaroos, 50 dollars. <laughs> Note to the editor, let's add some applause in the post uh, in editing as opposed to that sleepy response that we just got. Who am I keeping it from now, Laura? Not sure. Now nobody knows. Ricola. Re Delicious Ricola. They say it two different ways in the same commercial. It bothers me to this day. Hey, here's my bit about it. <laughs> Eddie, are we ready to do this? Ready to meet our comedian? Let's do it. Yada, ta 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 
yar ta 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 yar yar de yar 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 ta 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 okay i could do that all night if you guys clapped along and then i yawned right in the middle of a professional show If we're going to post the date, and I don't want to date this program, but let's just assume that this was shot in October of 2012. That's when I gave up. <laughs> if we want to know years down the line, whatever happened to Pardo, October 2012, gave up during a four camera shoot. You'd think it might happen at home when I'm feeling sorry for myself. Nope. I want to do it when I'm feeling good. Group of people that came out to see me. And I just give up. <laughs> Our comedian is terrific, folks. He has written a terrific book himself called uh, Casher in the Rye. This is the very funny Moshe Casher, everybody. <laughs> Moshe Casher. <laughs> Hello to you. Hi. All right, all right. Hi, everybody. I did write a book. I went on a, I went on a book tour, actually. I uh, started my tour in St. Louis, Missouri. Fun. I did a, a week uh, at a club in St. Louis. Uh, no, no black people. The entire weekend, not a black. It's fucking St. Louis. Everybody was white. The I thought one person would be the rapper Nelly. At least one guy. <laughs> When nobody was Nelly the entire weekend long. It, th this is how white the situation that I was involved in was. In my hotel that weekend was a Jimmy Buffett fan convention happening. <laughs> That's the whitest shit even conceivable by man. It's unbelievable. They have conventions. There's no way that that's not in some way a hate group, a Jimmy Buffett fan convention. <laughs> it's impossible that the Southern Poverty Law Center is not slightly concerned with gatherings of Jimmy Buffett fans. I went to the hotel to talk to one of them for comedic research purposes only. I spoke to like their imperial wizard or whatever. Uh, and I was like, what are you? What is this? She's like, we are called parrot heads and anything you've heard about us, it's true. I was like, oh cool. I've heard fucking nothing about you. <laughs> What do you think, people like me are sitting around jawing about what Jimmy Buffett fans have been up to for the last 40 years? Same town, same weekend, an NRA convention was happening. The fucking Venn diagrams of whiteness on those two conventions are so profoundly overlapped, I felt like if both groups had run at each other at full speed, right when they hit, they would have just exploded and Mitt Romney would have been standing atop the St. Louis Arch drifting down onto his constituents. That's some white shit, thanks, you're right. Uh, I went to the doctor a little while ago. I showed him my symptoms. I will not be sharing them with you tonight. Uh, and he said, here was our conversation in real time. He goes, oh, I've seen this before. It's often found in patients who have leprosy or AIDS. But you don't have leprosy or AIDS. Okay, fuck, Doc, why don't you go ahead and front load the conversation with you don't have leprosy or AIDS before you begin to titillate me with anecdotes about medical research you did at a South Pacific leper colony that Papillon escaped to. I would like every visit to the doctor to begin with. You don't have leprosy or AIDS. What brought you to see me today? I don't need any, I, but I did have this lovely moment between the AIDS and you don't have leprosy or AIDS, which was I had a moment, the only time in my life I ever had the thought, dear God, please let it be AIDS. Please give me AIDS. <laughs> I want AIDS so badly because I realize I would prefer to have AIDS than leprosy. A leprosy, your flesh is falling off. It's very difficult to disguise. AIDS, you have options to hide it. The, you know, things that you can do. You can you can wear a condom and sneak to a hooker. You can uh, you can take a medita medication cocktail. You can become gay. I'm not trying to be insulting, or uh, but I did, I I just feel like the nonchalance with which gay men deal with HIV is fucking astounding. They're like, oh, you know, girl, don't worry about that. That's just the long flu. Jump in there. <laughs> that actually is much funnier than you give it credit for. <laughs> I know that. I've done the joke before. Everybody here enjoy life more. So 
Because here's the thing. I've had AIDS, so don't worry. Well, I haven't had AIDS AIDS, but I do have mind AIDS. I've had mind AIDS. Have you ever had mind AIDS? Anybody ever caught the mind AIDS? It's just AIDS that you get for no real reason. It's just like you haven't done anything particularly AIDS-y, you know what I mean? But you start kind of reverse engineering your sexual behavior to kind of extrapolate how you could have caught it. Like, oh, I did finger someone with a ripped cuticle that one time. I know you're thinking perhaps I said ripped cuticle as a kind of comedic anecdote. No, that's not something I made up. There's no way for me to adequately give over to you the look that's on a doctor's face when you ask them, is it possible I caught AIDS from fingering somebody with a ripped cuticle? It's kind of like disappointment and I'm not prepared for this and I shouldn't be prepared for this because I'm like already a hypochondriac or as it's more commonly known, a Jew. I can't deal with anything. Like I just start freaking out and you can't do with mind AIDS what you would normally do which is to Google the symptoms. If you think you have a serious illness, go ahead and Google it because AIDS is an, is an autoimmune disorder so everything you have is somehow tangentially connected back to AIDS. You're like, oh, I feel the, I'm itchy. Google's like, you got the fucking AIDS itch. That's the AIDS itch. I've got a headache, fucking AIDS headache. Eventually, Google gets tired of your shit. It's like, did you mean you have AIDS? Yes, I did. I did mean that. Google, thank you guys very much. You're beautiful. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jimmy. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Moshe Kasher, guys. Moshe Kasher. Moshe Kasher. Moshe Kasher. Grab a hold of me faster. Moshe Kasher. Here we go. Ah, uh, that's a, uh, that was a play on the Kiss song, Plaster Caster. And again, my goal is for 62-year-old men to enjoy this program. <laughs> Moshe Kasher, your comedy actually made me feel Jewish. It was like thousands of years of suffering and I wanted to cut my penis. <laughs> Ed Lee, Ed Lee, I'm gonna move that contention joke out of the box, drop! Not saying Moshe looks like Rachel Maddow. <laughs> but I was really expecting more incisive lesbian political analysis. <laughs> analysis. If laughter was the best medicine, your set would be leprosy or AIDS. <laughs> You're a hypochondriac Jew. Way to buck the stereotypes. Oh wait, you aren't funny, so you are bucking them. <laughs> Very funny, but I mistakenly thought you died in a plane crash with the Big Bopper. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, and yes, this sweater does smell like mothballs. No, it was just unnecessary. That's, that, that's a that, beautiful sweater. Thank you very much, Ed. You know fabrics. Your people like fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> right? Your silks and such. <laughs> you wear glasses. You wrote a book. Nerd. <laughs> hey, nice skinny khakis. <laughs> hey, nice skinny khakis. Am I saying one of these words wrong? Is this possibly yeah, on me? I really misread the crowd on that one. I, I thought it was a, a skinny khaki crowd. Right? They, they're, they're pro skin khaks. The fabric jokes aren't working. They're really not, I are they? It, not I, with this crowd. I thought it was a textile my people. crowd. Your people would love it. They'd cook something up for us. Thanks for being topical, political, and dressing like the mayor of Echo Park. <laughs> ah, back! That's fabric related. It's fabric related. Uh, hey, next book, The Upside of AIDS. <laughs> I told you to never speak of our ripped cuticle encounter again. <laughs> you make AIDS hilarious. <laughs> It's the shorter ones that get nothing. No, they, they, right? they like you to go they into like it and get it. down in they there. Deep, right, Laura? Right. They don't like Live concise. And <laughs> Live and learn. Uh, ha ha! Jew ah. <laughs> Jews run showbiz, and sometimes someone's cousin is owed a favor. <laughs> That's a good piece. I'm going to put that. That's a good that now, cut penis. Moshe's book is called Casher in the Rye, 
Now please pay further tribute to J.B. Salinger by never writing again. <laughs> J.B.? Jimmy, I don't, I don't want these people thinking I don't know what J.D. Salinger's name is. I did not write What J. did I say? J.B. J.B. Uh, again, again, I'm cold reading. I'm cold Fair reading. Enough. I just don't want them thinking I'm stupid. I understand. <laughs> but let's be very clear. I am also not stupid. Uh, if we could see this, the J, uh, A, it looks like, a, first of all, it looks like a B. Second of all, I don't know why Barack Obama showed Salinger, up there. If you saw Salinger, what letter do you think? I you didn't see up? the Salinger, you cocksucker. Here's the problem. <laughs> it's on the next line. So uh, you know I'm what? reading, this, again, cold vantage, reading. I agree. I agree. From this vantage, I, I see your point. Thank you very much. We are friends. <laughs> That was a terrific debate you got there. Thank you very much. Ed? Back to business. You might have AIDS. Yeah, we ended on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, that means that uh, I wanted to cut my penis with the joke of the night. And Lee. Look at this. Oh, how many number fives is this going to buy? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, and Lee! Another half of motion capture, everybody. Don't forget to check me out at the award winning podcast, Never Not Funny, at podcast.com. But before that, a nice round of applause for these great people. Jared Grody, Laura House, Ed Lee. I'm Jimmy. This is right now. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being topical, political, and dressing like the mayor of Echo Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, so one of the writers said that I looked a lot like Rachel Maddow, which, you know, it's like I felt that it was offensive because uh, as a Muslim, I don't eat pussy. So I basically, any of the writers that said mean stuff were wrong, and any of the writers that said nice stuff, I felt like really are good writers. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot! <laughs>